Alright guys, uh, welcome back. Last time, we picked up our boy Lloyd here. And, you know, we made a friend. We get to listen to this wonderful music again. This time, we're gonna go get him some rockets. He said he wanted some, and the last one didn't go so well, so let's go find some. <sighs> it's nice to get back. It's been just a small while since we played this. We saw these tracks last time. We didn't explore them very much, but I'm assuming they go somewhere. Of course they do. Tracks always lead to interesting locations. Haven't you ever seen an 80s movie? I like this area. It's open, it's nice. Ah. Let's see. Maniac Truck. I gotta hope. I learned something about trucks. And this game. Not just trucks in general. I learned something about trucks. No, but Nintendo's asthma, so if they, like, fume up, you can get seriously injured. Also, I don't remember if I showed or not, but I did level up Lloyd. I got him to at least level 10. Basic, you know, easy level, small. Nothing too big, but I didn't want him to just die every 5 seconds. Come on. 10's attack, 55 damage, bloom. Easy. Might as well show off the state of each of us. Alright, 1957. That's Lloyd. They all heal up while we're here. So, how have you guys been? Um, I've been doing pretty well. As well as I can be. I could be doing a lot worse. I guess it, maybe it's not as true. During this week, I had a lot of tests. A lot of work to do. And then, of course, what happened on Tuesday was I had a face infection. That was very delightful. I woke up in the morning, my face was really swollen, really bad. Apparently, my salivary gland got infected, and that's horrible delight. Because I woke up with a face like Quasimodo. I ended up missing all my classes. I had to go to the, the university doctor. Hey, the mad car. We haven't seen that yet. Looks like the guy from, uh... <laughs> from, uh, what is it? Uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? That's the guy. You know who I'm talking about? The, the taxi cab? Okay. Not, that's bad, but not too bad. Wh what's his name? I, uh, yeah, the, the yellow cab. You know, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, why are they all blue? Maybe it's like, you know, color limitations because NES. Anyways, easy fight. No, but I was looked like Quasimodo. I was scary. So I had to go to the university doctor. And apparently he wasn't good enough. So he sent me to another doctor, and of course I don't drive, so I used an Uber for the first time to get there. And he looked at me, he poked my face a little bit, he's like, yeah, I know what this is. Immediately, he was like, okay, yep, this is, um, uh, uh, pitosis, or whatever it was actually called, I don't quite remember. So it's like, well, great. The other guy couldn't have just looked at me and done that. Nintendo found a pass that somebody had left behind. Oh, fantastic. I wasn't quite sure where we were going, but I kind of followed the tracks, and I guess we're going in the right direction. I don't know where we're heading. We're heading toward Duncan's factory because apparently Duncan has rockets, among a, a lot of other things. While talking with all the town people, we saw that apparently they want to like do all sorts of stuff. My man Duncan, Duncan. But yeah, so I had to go to two doctors, spend all my day sitting in waiting rooms with the really horrible face. People kept looking at me. You know, a friend would be like, "Hey, AJ," and I have to cower and fear, be like, "Don't look at me. I'm a monster." You know, just very, very sad stuff. And of course, that night, I had to go and do a band thing. Show off to a bunch of high schoolers who loved us. They thought we were so cool. Which, you know, was a nice and warm feeling for me. But also, I didn't have a chance to pick up my antibiotics until the next day. And that's wonderful. You know, another day, another night of restless sleep because your face is literally killing you. Hey, Wolf, how's the meat on Corneria? So dumb. <sighs> but so I'm glad that's mostly over. I still have to take pills every 12 hours for a couple days. But I mean, my face is basically fine. I don't see any problems with it. But I mean, that was probably one of the most interesting parts of my weeks. I had a test. Did I? Yes, I do have a test. I did have a test this week. On what? Was it Japanese? Yes. Okay. 
It must have been a Japanese test, because I don't remember what else it could have been. <laughs> so, that was mostly exciting. What happened today, which was super exciting, was my parents sent a care package. Very sweet. They were sent one a while back, but it hadn't arrived. For whatever reason. Actually, you heal up a Lloyd. And so, I mean, it, thank goodness it arrived, because it's... Oh my god, there's so much in there. There's like chips and cookies and like pop tarts and ramen and like crap ton of candy. They have um cereal, mac and cheese. There's like oatmeal. I like oatmeal. <laughs> and I, man, that made me so happy. Along with a pair of pants, or not pants, shorts. Don't you love your parents? Here it is Duncan's factory. Hello? This factory is Mr. Duncan's private property. Let's see your pass. Hey, Duncan, why do you have a dog guarding your uh, entrance? Before we do that, let me look over here. I thought I saw something. God, I love this song. Here, nothing. Yeah, let's, let's give you some bottle rockets, man. You need some stuff. I'll oh, pass. Actually, let me look at this first. What does it say? Pass, printed on it, Duncan Factory employee. Wow. Very interesting pass. Really a lot of detail and security behind that. What? Suspicious creature. Look me in the eye. What? <laughs> stray dog. Well, stray dog, I don't know who you think you're dealing with, but we have a Lloyd, and you also died in like five seconds. <laughs> Ah, that's nice. Ooh, spooky area again. Let's see if- because I have no clue where I'm going in here. Let's stick to the walls. Like in a maze, you know. Old robot. You can fight, Lloyd can check. Good thing I have another character to do this now. 44 damage. Let's see how much you do. Nothing, because I'm a dodger. 48 damage. Ooh, this guy's strong. Alright, let me just attack him. But yeah, I'm stacked with snacks, which makes me very happy. Since I'm just a poor boy living in college. And now my parents generally send me all this stuff. And a pair of shorts, because my other shorts got, like, holes and a button fell off. Oh, button, button. Where hast thou fled? Did thee tarry too long with needle and thread, or whatever? I don't remember. Dr. Distorto. Okay, let me check for both. That's odd. Come on. Come on, Lloyd, check. What? Okay, my controller's whizzing out. There you go. No! God, jeez, what, what the heck's wrong with it? That's weird. Offense 38, defense 48. His twisted face covered his twisted mind. And he ran away. Oh, I didn't even get to see what the other guy was. The scrapper. Fireball throws here. Okay, what the heck? My controller's like really was not. Alright, I'll just stop using it then. Hmm? Oh, come on. What, what the hell's happening? Uh, uh, sorry, no, 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 no. The heck? Wow! That's not fun. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. My controller just whizzing out on me. That's terrifying, man. Fireball. <laughs> just thinking of the drink. Yeah. Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, I got it. There I go. Finally. Scrapper draws near.
Oh, seriously? I still can't press down for some reason. Just get me out of the battle, I'll, I'll fix it. PKB Alpha, that's not fun. At all. And Lloyd's gonna die, isn't he? He's not gonna die, okay. Oh, come on. Dude, let me, let me do this. Okay, I promise I'll be back in a second. Let me fix this. If, wait, did, will it work? That did not fix it. Let me fix this. I'll be back in like a couple seconds, alright? Alright, so I'm back. Uh, God damn it. Stupid controller. Wait, what was I doing? Oh, PSI, sorry. Life up on Lloyd. Lloyd, do you have any goods? Uh, nothing really. Actually, wait. wait do I have anything? Yeah, I'll use a big bag on... Oh, jeez. Nintendo's the only one who can heal. I should have given the big bag to Lloyd. Just another... Come on, don't hit Lloyd. Okay. That's not fun. Come on, Lloyd. My boy. Don't kill me. From this... Darn scrapper. Ooh, that's not fun, that's not fun. <sighs> God. Damn it. Well then, guys, I hope you're, um, proud of me. Looks like I'll be back. I'll see you guys shortly, alright? Oh, well, actually, let me show this first, because it's a new enemy. Nintendo checked bomber. Who is it? Strong against PK fire, shaped like an egg, but a little tougher. <laughs> he tripped and fell. It's funny. 48 damage. Okay. Wow, really a lot tougher, aren't you? <laughs> well, that was fantastic. All right. Let me get out of this building first. Okay, I'll meet you guys back here, alright? See you then. Well, this is interesting. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm not fully back yet. Ah, uh, this is... A, I don't know if I showed this yet, but this is an interesting enemy. We got a fugitive and a rope. A, a rope. I mean, it's not just a rope. It's a, it, it's a rope, You know, if you know what I'm saying. I can't tell... If you can hear the inflection that I'm making my voice. <laughs> He's on the FBI's most wanted list. Boy, check rope. Defense. Don't let yourself get tied up fighting this guy, huh? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I find that funny. Ha ha ha. But I find it funny these two hang out together. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Well, okay guys, good thing I wasn't back yet, because I can't. <laughs> Alright, fugitive, regain your senses. Did you, man? You're a fugitive, I mean. I'm sure you've lost your senses already. Oh, God bless. The rope ties you up, and it's very annoying. I probably should have taken him out first, shouldn't have I? Oh, thank goodness. I escaped from the rope, just like those escape rooms that I'm so good at. Come on, rope. I would love to go in an escape room. They always seem like so much fun. Because I love, like, the, you know, the flash. The point and click adventures that were rife on the internet. Everywhere. I wish I could do one. They're just, you know, you need friends, time, money, all this other stuff. A lot of resources. Yeah, I'll be back after re resurrecting <laughs> Lloyd again. Ah, oh, fantastic. Alright guys, after a very long time, we're back. Obviously, got a couple new levels up. A couple new levels up. Uh, nothing too fancy. And Lloyd is alive. Alive and well. Dr. Disorder, are you actually going to stay with us? See, you're not too bad. Scrapper, you might be pretty bad. Oh, no you're not. <laughs> no you're not. Ah, nice. It's good to have them both here together. Makes a lot, a lot of things a lot easier. 
Uh, you no, know, I'm very curious. I've been obviously Nintendo Online just got started. Do you ever think it's possible that um, Earthbound Beginning, some other one, the game I'm currently playing, could come to it? Because I'm curious. It has been officially released in America now. It's, it's not like they don't have it. I don't think it's imp impossible. I don't know. It seems like it wouldn't be that likely, but I feel like it could happen. I really do. Oh, that's not enough. Come on. I'll do it uh, twice. No, but like, I do think it's a good chance, actually. I don't know why I think that. <laughs> I feel like you know, people usually have bad luck talking about mothers stuff getting in here. But I mean, maybe it's just me hoping that it'll come to the NES Classic. I feel like it could happen. That's right. Yeah, this factory is creepy, but I always forgot that it transforms into a different song. Or not a different song, but a different part of the song that you don't get to hear too often. And it's really nice. I actually like the factory theme, whatever. Duncan's factory, the other factory. Sweet's factory, that's right. It's nice. Well, Lloyd, you're not doing too well. And... I'll give you a sign. I feel Lloyd, I'll give you... I'm not letting you die. But, I don't know. Nintendo Online's not that bad. I'm thinking about it. I made a team up with a friend of mine, and like a crap ton of people that we all knew. I didn't know every person in there. I doubt everyone does. But in the end, we're all paying like four or five dollars a year. For a bunch of games, and online capability with various other small perks. It's not bad. It's, it, I think it's a fantastic deal. And there's not really any reason that you shouldn't, why you should pay the single person price unless you're just like completely alone in the world and you've never left your house before. And even then, you can contact someone on the internet, you know, go to a forum and be like, I don't want to be friends with you guys, but I just want to, I just want to gain these benefits. Ooh, new power. I wonder what it could be. But I think that Nintendo Online is not as bad as people seem to say it is. I'm not expecting too much out of it. I don't want that much out of it. I just want really what it gives me. Obviously, more things would be nice, of course. But it's not necessary for me. Ooh, Lloyd, you got a smash attack. It's the first one I've seen you do. You know, Lloyd, actually, I want you to heal Nintendo. Let's switch it up. Or maybe not. But it was fun. I spent, like, yesterday, kept playing a lot of those NES games, because... I don't know. I like NES games. I don't know why they've struck any chord with me so much. Because I guess there's still a lot of them are still quality games, regardless of when they were made. This, obviously, is a good example. Old robots draws near. But, I mean, what can you say? Some of them are good. Some of them I've been playing for a long time. They're nostalgic to me, even if I wasn't, like... They didn't come out when I was born. I mean, of course they didn't. They came out way before I was born. But I've been playing them since I was born, since they've been out that long. And I've had access to versions of them. Obviously, everyone's played Mario, the original one. I've always had a fondness for Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 3. The original Zelda. Killed me. Though I don't, even today, I haven't beat it. I've gotten close to have beaten, like, many dungeons. Oh, dead end. That's exciting. We're going through this maze in a linear way. Straight fashion. Which maybe isn't the best, but, you know. I'm trying my hardest. But I like it. And of course, some of the games on there are really nice. I spent like, an hour yesterday playing Yoshi. <laughs> it's a simple puzzle game, but I really like puzzle games. And that one, it's a lot of fun. It's very satisfying and it's kind of hard. I mean, it's not hard as the level increases and you start off with more and more disadvantages. It's kind of easy to lose. I mean, it's not easy to lose. It's not that hard of a game, but it's very fun. I enjoy playing it a lot, I don't know why. But then, of course, I was spent a while playing Dr. Mario, and I didn't realize the controls in Dr. Mario. They felt, like, clunky and hard, and just... It didn't feel nice playing it. Maybe it was just me, because I like playing Dr. Mario in general. I'm not very good, but, I mean, I still like playing it. But it felt clunky. And I think it was, I think it was the controls, or maybe like the controller or something. Huh. Yo. Oh, that's, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. 
Dang, this bag must be infinite, bro. I mean, it still hasn't run out. I mean, I don't really need any of your powers so far, Nintendo. You're trash. Trash. You're trash. Give me some good PSI powers that I might actually use. I am horribly lost in this factory, though. I don't know if you noticed that. It's, it's not a good thing. Definitely not. But, dude, I do like puzzle games a lot. Yoshi? It's interesting. Because I, I feel like it leads you to win. It always gives you kind of a piece you need when it comes down the top of the screen. It never gives you a piece that you don't need. No, I mean, sometimes it does. But because of the amount of pieces in the game, I feel like you're always going to get something you do need. And because of that... I guess it makes it easy, but I think feel like you can make it as difficult as you want it to be, and maybe you're not aiming just to beat levels, you're aiming to get a better score. And in that case, you can do all sorts of things, trying to get as many Yoshi's hash as possible. Very interesting. I like it. To me, it feels like a kind of a unique game. But that's just, that's my personal opinion. Oh, I didn't even notice. I completely forgot we had a new power. Is that healing beta? I wonder what it heals. I am awfully curious. Okay, so what other puzzle games do you guys like? There's one I heard of that was on the NES. I got a ROM for it. I was playing it while it was really fun. I don't. I started with a Q. I don't remember what it was called. Very odd. I realized I missed the ladder up here. I didn't think I was going the right direction, but I now I know I missed it. Yeah. Let me just start trying to run. Getting tired of. Oof. Thank goodness. I it's like quarter or quasar. I, I don't remember. Those are both physics terms. Started with Q. Basically, there were like blocks floating down from the screen, and you shoot blocks upwards to fill in the shapes. Which is a concept I'm familiar with. Later, there was a DSi game called PictoBits, which did something similar, but with a touchscreen and colors. Which is a fantastic... If you've never played it... Well, I mean, I don't know if you can, because the DSi shop is shut down, isn't it? But it's good. I love PictoBits, man. It's very fun. Although it's also kind of hard. Some people say it's easy. I think it's hard. But I, this game is a lot, obviously a lot like that. But, I mean... I don't know. I had a good time playing it. This one, the, the Q game, as I'm gonna call it. I don't think it was that hard. I didn't have any trouble with that one. Because the pieces fall down slowly and you shoot upwards. And you don't have to worry about colors. You just worry about shooting things. So it becomes very easy. So just like go through it. Do I know where I'm going? No, I don't. Well, I'm gonna find it eventually. But yeah, that game, I might do a video on that game because it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And apparently, the music's supposed to be good. I was in a public area at the time, so I couldn't listen to it. Sad, I know. Obviously, music is one of the most important parts of the video game. All right, guys, I'm back again. Sorry about that, a quick cut. Uh, we finished the battle, I'm sorry about that. Uh, a weird, like, error happened. I know, it sucks. But we're back, going up this ladder. And me talking about whatever I was talking about. What is this? Intend to open the presents. There was bread. That's cool. Actually, it's pretty cool, because bread's very useful. Let's get out of here. So what were we talking about? I sorry, I, I had to go do something for a second. <laughs> Just slightly off kilter. Um, uh, was it? I'm gonna call the game Quasar because I don't remember what it's called. I'll probably figure it out later when once I figure it out. But for now, it's Quasar. Hey, good for you, Nintan. It's a lot of fun. I I didn't expect to have so much fun, but I didn't realize puzzle games suck you in so easily. They really do. I mean, it was like... I don't know if you can hear me, but I snapped right then. 
It's like a switch on your brain. Ah, fun. No, but it's puzzle games are fantastic, man. They really do something for me that I didn't expect. I don't remember if I went up or went down here. Which is a bit frustrating. I think I went up. So I'll, I'll go up that ladder that we just saw. Because I think I'm tracing the left side. Actually, I haven't been tracing the, I've been following the wall, basically. If that makes any sense. And it going up every ladder I see, going around the wall. Basically going around the entire edge of the factory. So I'll go up here. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised because I'm kind of meandering and not really knowing where I'm going. Because there's no knowing where I'm going. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a-blowing? In this factory, not a speck of light is um, showing. So the danger must be growing. Are the bobots and scrappers growing? <laughs> ah, that's funny. That reminds me. Have you guys ever been to the Reddit, um, Grandpa Joe Hates? I don't know why, but it's really gotten into me. <laughs> it's basically, you know, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. And Grandpa Joe is his grandpa. Notorious, because he stays in bed all day, does nothing. And then all of a sudden, Charlie gets his golden ticket. He jumps out of bed, does a dance, goes with them. I mean, what? So you, you, you could walk this entire time and you didn't help out the family who are starving to death. What, because you're too lazy? Was it a miracle? Grandpa? You, you want to explain that? <laughs> no, but not obviously not really, but... That's what people seem to think on the Reddit. And their own sites. It, I find it hilarious. <laughs> oh god, I hope this isn't another dead end. They call it a scrapper because he scraps things? Or because he is... Scrap. Hmm. Gotta put map hat on that theory. Figure out, you know. Oof, not a PK beam. 26 damage. Oof. Let's see. That reminds me. I don't know why it reminds me, but um, something very funny happened recently at our school. They banned all hard liquor in um, fraternities. Obviously, I'm not in a fraternity, nor do I drink. But there was like a lot of obviously pushback from those fraternities, which I found hilarious. Just because, I mean, they were saying, "Well, yes, but because of this ban, we're going to be demoted from you know an actual organization to just like a club." I found it funny because that implies that fraternities need alcohol to stay with their, like, it's not about the tradition, it's not about anything else. If they don't have alcohol, they don't work anymore. <laughs> and now they're just a normal club. That's apparently, according to fraternities themselves, arguing over hard liquor, that's all it takes. And it's not even all liquor. The thing is, it's banning hard liquor, so anything over 15%. Which means they could still have things less than that. And I find it I, I, I found it hilarious. They're so preoccupied with the fact that I can't get hard liquor that they're making... First of all, it's very illogical arguments. Arguments that I think really undermine... First of all, it kind of proves the point they were making in the first place, but undermines fraternities in the first place by saying that basically the only thing holding them up is booze. I don't know about you guys, but I found that a bit... A bit uh, just a little bit humorous. Uh... Maybe a bit tibular. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> but, I mean, really guys, come on. Show some class. I don't know, I always wondered what it'd be like to be in a fraternity. It's never appealed to me, but I'm just curious how they act. You know, what, what do they do? Personally, I feel like it's not that interesting, but that's just me. It's my opinion. I don't think it's fun, that personally, but some people do. I mean, I guess if it's that important to them, sure, but it just, it's odd. And of course it was in the, it was in the like front of the, you know, the school's own newspaper. Everyone read it, which I also found funny that people read newspapers. 
I mean, it's the school newspaper, so of course they're reading it, but I found it funny. That... Because it seems so uncommon. And not in a very efficient way of spreading news, but of course someone saw it. It spread around. Everyone took a coffee. Fortunately for us, it's free. You don't have to pay for it, which maybe helps. Come on, give me something, game. Where the heck am I going? Is that it? I wouldn't be... Oh my gosh. I made it. Aim on the rock. Okay. One, two, three, fire. Oh. Oh, I get it. Is he blowing up the rocks in the path outside? I mean, I guess he did it. And I really should have put some bread out. I have to walk all the way back. Here, guys. I'll meet you outside of the factory, all right? All right. Um... I died trying to get out of this terrible place. I'm pretty sure I found the exit as well, but I just died before I can get there, which is very, very sad. So, I mean, that sucks, but we're out. So, yeah. I'm going to heal up, and we'll meet you guys next time at the um, our new opening. Alright? See you guys then. Goodbye.